Welcome back, everybody. All right, I'm going to be very quick with this one because I just want to explain what's going on right now and why this move is happening. Um, everybody's talking about this 15% increase and in everything. Yes, the price went up. Okay, so let's start with this. The price itself was contained in this box here. This is a box. It has been contained like this for quite a long time. We have one attempt to break through that box, second attempt. Now we have a third attempt, which was successful. The price closed above that line. It is closed above that line. It's already closed above that line. Now, once it closes above that line, a lot of people, a lot of people, a lot of banks, same things happening on the bottom. We have one bounce, we have a second bounce here, one attempt to go lower, second attempt to go lower. Fortunately for us, traders decided the stock is worth buying so, uh, and it's worth something. So it continued on into a bullish move. So we have this one, two, three leg, which confirms basically after this point that market is bullish. So this part here is bullish already. It's showing us that it's very bullish. However, we have this resistance here to break. We had this once that was trying to go higher second time. It didn't make it. For the first time, we are having the price closed above. Let me just clean the, uh, this chart. So for the first time, we have a price that's closed above this line, which tells us that they're trying to move the price higher than it's supposed to be. At the moment, it was boxed in at between the $22 and a $14 mark, okay? So more times you bang on the door, there's a better chance of success for you to make a, a dent in the, in the door, right? So finally, we had after one knock, second knock, the third one, we actually broke or made a dent into the door, if you want that kind of layman's terms, basically. So the price is up now. It's retesting this area once again. Uh, I'm just waiting for a clear signal now uh, in order to it's either going to continue on from here, uh, which would be about, I think, 22.46 price, or once it breaks this top and it will continue on into, again, bullish move like this, right? So this is what's happening right now. So this is what I'm waiting for, okay? We need to confirm this. There's also one hour and 40 minutes left for this candle to close. So once it closes, we're going to have a signal. Either this is going to become another bullish signal for us to get into trade, or it will maybe take one or two more sessions to get a full signal to continue long. So what's going on in a box? Well, this whole box um, is created between two parts of the price 22 and 14 right so when we are boxed in here we have these areas that we can now finally determine where the price is actually stopping and where the traders are coming in like bulls are coming here and bulls are coming in here and buying or we have bears that are coming in at 22 and selling we have a bears again and selling and making profit and then we have a bulls that manage actually to close the price above okay so Whenever the bears are looking to sell because they don't think the price is going to go higher than $22, these people or these investors, are they have their stop losses above the price, which is right here, okay? Above the price, above the green line, okay? So they have the, their stop loss in order, uh, sorry, pardon me, they have the stop loss placed there because if the order for sell doesn't work out, it will kick their stop loss and it will take them out of the trade, possibly with a profit or loss, it doesn't matter. But we use stop loss at all times. If you were buying in this case, your stop loss would be probably over here, below these candles right there, okay? So if the price continued on and broke through that stop loss, retested and continued on, then all these stop losses would tri be triggered and every buy has a sell and every sell has a buy basically so once these stop losses are triggered we have we get these huge massive moves into the certain direction so as soon as these sellers were taken out the buyers took over basically and all these sellers became buyers and the prices continue on into bullish direction or buying direction 
So it doesn't have to be necessary uh, some kind of a in, uh, event that's happening at, the, at, the, at this point of time. It's just a technical uh, trading, basically one-on-one. -on -one that you know, this is how the investments are done. People that are looking at reading charts, this is how they do it. Okay. So once they see the price move on, we are waiting for a little pullback to retest this area again, so it's just to see if it's going to contain that price. If the price falls below twenty-two dollars and stays below twenty-two dollars, then this breakout was just a fake out, as we call it, a fake out, just to trigger these stop losses and some bulls to make some profit if it's a fake out then the price could come down all the way to 14 dollars again and then bounce off if the, if it's strong enough back to this area if this proves to be an area that actually going to hold then we are expecting for the move to continue on from that area so basically that's those two scenarios uh, the most probable one is this one that i see here in a bullish move but you never know until this candle closes or maybe one more to show us the real direction of this i also forgot to mention that we have a couple of new targets in working at the moment we have 2856 area 3158 area and 3544 area there are, those areas are all based on a previous um, previous price action so we had one here, one here, and one here. That also corresponds to a lot of um, price action that would happen in past. If I pull the charts, you can see that price stalled at those areas. So we have one bounce here, one here. We have one, two, three here. That price, uh, it took a while to uh, move on from there. And then we had one and two, which totally corresponds to the areas that are marked on our side of the price where it's happening at the moment. So those would be the new targets to look for. So that's how the trading is done. This is, it doesn't have to be any kind of a event happening around you. It's just, it's just the traders looking at the charts, making decisions, and the investors seeing opportunity to invest again or reinvest after taking a profit. That's it. Short and I hope very clear.